is 7 National News and in our top story. His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, received Alexander Vucic, the Serbian First Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence, at Emirates Palace in Abu Dhabi. The Crown Prince reiterated the UAE's interest in elevating bilateral relations and cooperation with Serbia. The meeting also discussed ways to boost investment and economic cooperation and to promote two-way investment through encouraging the business communities in both countries to launch joint ventures. The Minister of Labour has issued a resolution that allows shops and malls to hire additional employees for the rise in customers over the Eid holidays. The new resolution issued by His Excellency Sakir Gobash, the Minister of Labour, stated that commercial establishments will be exempt from fees related to employment permits during the event, allowing them to hire additional employees for a one-month period. Additionally, much of the delight to eager shoppers, shopping malls across Dubai opened their doors this weekend for 24-hour shopping, which will run for the next three weekends until November the 2nd in order to celebrate Eid al-Adha. Officials say that the 24-hour opening times over the weekends is being looked at as a test case for the future of the industry. The Ministry of Health is warning the public against the use of some herbal medicines. According to a local paper, the ministry has stated that some herbal medicines contain chemicals such as sildenafil, which are not written on ingredients lists. They warn that chemicals such as this could pose serious problems to the public's health, which also violate the terms and pharmaceutical safety standards. The ministry is now urging the public not to bring in any such medications from abroad for personal use without having the information leaflets or prescriptions accredited inside or outside the UAE. The Road and Transport Authority has revealed that one of the reasons for the rise in traffic congestion in Dubai is due to an increase of vehicles on the road. According to a local paper, Ahmed Barazayan, the CEO of the licensing department of the RTA, was quoted as saying that there are over 1.07 million vehicles registered in Dubai and that over 20,000 new vehicles have been registered so far this year. He added that the authority cannot restrict residents on the numbers of cars that they own, like some other countries, but hopes that the public will take more of an interest in public transport to help ease traffic, and that the Emirate is still in the process of developing additional means of transportation. Showcased for the first time in the Middle East at this year's Jitex is Ego, a revolutionary device which replaces keys, bank cards and airline tickets with a wearable interactive gadget. Concluding on Thursday, the Technology Week was a great success according to the event organisers. Adding to this accomplishment, digital company Gemalto introduced the new technology, which transforms the way digital services are accessed and enjoyed by providing secure user authentication and nothing more than a single touch. Similar to a multi-service enabler containing numerous applications, the device communicates with ego-compliant objects. By simply hopping onto a bus, your credentials are passed on, payment is made and the electronic transaction is completed seamlessly. This is just one of the many services the device offers. These ego devices will provide us access to multiple services. And what is uh, really innovating in this solution is that people will use the touch to interact with their environment. So imagine that uh, you need to get access to a private room and for that you, you are the right for do that. So to present your rights, you are wearing your ego object and you will touch the reader. And with this simple gesture, you will get the access. Also in, in transport, because speed is key in transport, so you don't need to present any token to the reader. You just can walk on an ego carpet, which will be the reader, and as you have your ego object on you, you will validate your ticket without any special gesture. So then uh, we have many of other applications, and uh, depending on the customers, uh, we are sure that ego will bring this simplicity and security as well. 
raking in an estimated 282 million US dollars annually. The GCC motorcycle and all-terrain vehicle market continues to attract local and international consumers, according to a study conducted by Golf Bike Week organizers. Kicking off on Thursday, the 18th of October, the third annual event showcases all the major manufacturers in the motorcycle market, such as Harley Davidson, Honda, Ducati, Kawasaki and Can-Am, all under one roof. On the sidelines of the expo, professional riders will be showing off their stunts from FMX to Street, a Middle East custom bike build competition, as well as a kid's quad bike zone. Exhibitors expressed that this was also a perfect time to showcase their 2013 models. As the Emirates have an endless supply of sand dunes, off-road dirt bikes and urban terrain quad bikes prove to be the main attraction amongst the UA residents. Definitely here people have got uh, different uh, passions. There are certain people who, are, who want to be uh, racing, so we have got a racing range for them. There are people who want uh, like cruising, uh, cruising of the, on the weekends, so we have got a wide range of, of cruisers for them. There are people who are definitely passionate for desert rides. We have got a, 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 lot, a lot of range for them, including the family rides as well as for the sporting events. So, so everything is there. It's definitely a, a large request for modifications. Everyone wants to make it a unique vehicle, uh, whether, it's, whether it's its power or its looks. Uh, we do find that most people, about 90% of our customers will make some type of modification. Whether it's a minor or a major modification, uh, we do see most bikes coming back with, with something changed. Visiting the UAE is pro street bike freestyler Julian Welsh, who is no stranger to extreme motorsports. And he says Morocco is his favourite country to compete in. Meanwhile, Jacques Leroux explains how sport enthusiasts can capture their action and movement using the new GoPro camera. Well, I can honestly tell you I've seen a lot of people fall a little bit harder, especially with GoPro pushing themselves further. But this... I would say, you know the X Games, how that's blown up. Every, every single sport now, and especially with social media, everything is seen more. A guy in his backyard in Oregon, you know, is seen now doing crazy things on his dirt bike in his backyard because he's got a GoPro attached to him and he can share it immediately with everyone. Whereas 10 years ago, you would never have seen that. And this allows, you, this allows any normal average Joe to become a superstar. And a lot of people have been sponsored now because they've got a million views on YouTube of something they did in their backyard. The idea is nobody, um, all the guys riding motocross and everything don't know anything about stunt riding. So I want to interest them. So I put motocross tire on that bike and I ride the forest with that bike on my first video. And I have a lot of views, something like 600,000 views. So it's a lot for YouTube. And I won't make the same stuff but now in the desert in Morocco. So when I come back from Dubai, I will set up the bike and going straight to the dune and to the sand and riding and make a new video to, you know, make something different than normally. And finally, partygoers got a taste of a new venue on Thursday evening as the Cash Club at Ibn Battuta opened its doors to the public. Dubai boasts a thriving nightlife and renovation and headlining artists are what keep the industry alive to attract the public, to create something new and appealing to Dubai's music lovers. The Cash Club has been through a three-month renovation period and the opening night welcomed a whole host of Dubai's elite for a first glimpse of the golden black as themed venue. Additionally, the owners also became the first in Dubai to host the official after party for a number of global artists who had performed earlier in the evening on Friday at the Italia Festival at Maidan. British artist Craig David, Grammy award-winning rapper Nelly and Ciara all came to the Cash Club to enjoy a taste of Dubai's thriving nightlife. Suitably named for Dubai's elite, the Cash Club hopes to raise the nightlife game through up-close and personal nights with leading global superstars. Basically what we've done, uh, we've done the number one interior. You know, the, you can see the interior decoration. What we've done is the best in the, in the nightlife. 
So hopefully the crowd will like it. We've been doing like seven nightclubs so far in Dubai and the most happening nightclubs in Dubai we did. So we knew that you have to always come up with something new to stay always on top. And the best thing was for us is how to give the people all the time something new because people, they get bored fast and you have to be always update, modern, fashion. And as you see inside, uh, we try to see what the people want for the first time. It's about time someone to do a nightclub, what people want, or music, or... So I think this is how, why we match, that we have to change something very fast. Yeah, it took us three months, but, I mean, everyone agreed that we did a crazy job.